You're watching the Auction Network. Welcome back. Baseball is as American as apple pie. The sport is filled with legends, and this year, the Louisville Slugger Museum and Factory honored a true living legend, Ken Griffey Jr. Now, the Louisville Slugger knows a few things about trees, and tonight, we really do see that the apple does not fall far from the tree. Here tonight to present the 2007 Living Legend Award to his son, please welcome Ken Griffey Sr. I'd like to thank uh, Louisville for actually asking me to present this special award. It is a special award. One thing, uh, we've both been associated with uh, a lot of perks. And since this is the first Living Legend uh, Award, I'm very proud, very happy to be here. And I just want to <laughs> present you with this award. Son, very happy, very proud of you. Always be proud of you. Just remember, you know, you've done so much in this game. You act like your mom, but you play ball like your dad. It's strange, I was thinking about all that downstairs and, and, and being the first living legend here in Louisville. And the, the, between the two of us, we've been through a, a lot of changes in terms of first. I mean, we were the first father and son that played simultaneously in the, in the major leagues. We were the first father and son to play together in the, in the big leagues. We were the first father and son to get back-to-back -back singles. First father and son to get back-to-back -back home runs. And this, it just cut for me. You know, he still has a couple more years to play, but for me, this being here in Louisville and giving him this award as being the first living legend here for Louisville, it was, was one of my highlights of my, of my career anyway. And I just stay nervous all the time. Because I was, you know, when Chuck said, we want to do this, I'm like, I know there's somebody else. And he was like, no, it's you. I'm like, okay. And, um, you know, I was, like I said, I was honored and humbled, you know, because I, I've never, I don't think about getting any awards. Uh, I just think about going out and playing and doing the best job I can. You know, 10 guys out of 12, 13 who, who use, a uh, position player who use Louisville bats. Uh, you know, that's how, you know, dominant they are in the industry is that, you know, they're the bat that everybody wants to use. It's the only bat, really. 
The annual Louisville Slugger Auction provides a unique bonding opportunity for many fathers and sons. Yeah, well, I mean, we just have a shared passion for sports. We really enjoy collecting, and this is something that we really like doing. We come today just to look and uh, have a, a day out with my grandson. Uh, we come every year. I was sort of looking. I was in service with Billy Martin, and uh, so, you know, I sort of keep an eye out for some of his stuff. Uh, and uh, it was back in 54 uh, when he was most valuable player in the World Series. To me, it's, it's in your, it's your DNA thread. 6,500, 6,500. 6, if somebody says, what should I collect? The first thing I want to ask you, what is your budget? Um, and then my second thing would be try to collect vintage. In the old days, when a player got a shirt, he would get one, two, three at the most. And then they would go be used in the minors for years and years and get destroyed. So the survival rate is, is almost non-existent. Most of the shirts before 1960 are one of a kind. You won't find two of any, uh, of any one shirt. One of a kind is a great way to describe the heirlooms Jim McKechnie is putting up on the block. His grandfather, Bill McKechnie, was a major league manager for 24 seasons and is the only skipper in baseball history to win National League pennants with three different teams. Today, he's parting with several items, including this stunning 1928 St. Louis Cardinals jersey. This is my grandfather's jersey from the 1928 uh, St. Louis Cardinals. Uh, again, uh, a, a bit old, a bit tattered the way it should be, but he wore it, I saw him wore it, uh, not in 1928, of course, but you know, around the house uh, in, in Florida. But this is the kind of thing that I hope uh, someone would, uh, a collector, possibly a museum, would be very interested in uh, displaying and, again, passing on that heritage. When we come back, the moment we've all been waiting for, the 1938 Lou Gehrig jersey goes up for sale. To register for future live auctions, go to auctionnetwork.com.